I am the executive director for Collage Arts. Um, and as such, it's my role to choose the exhibitions that go into this space. I've sort of, Fiona's been in the, uh, uh, an artist in the Chocolate Factory Studios now for a long time. Um, I think over 15 years. And I've always liked her work. Um, and really, this opportunity came up with the space, as you can see, lends itself to the kind of work that Fiona does, and it really shows it off in, in, in the way it should be shown off. I actually manage Paramel, which is the space, which is a restaurant, a gallery, and a music venue. And we organize lots of different activities. We work in conjunction with Collage Arts, who curates all our exhibitions. We have uh, a theater in the back that's managed by Montview Theatre Academy, and they run lots of performances, and they use the space as an entrance. The restaurant is part of their entrance. That, and that is my job to make sure that everything runs smooth, that everything is in place at the right time. I like the whole spirituality aspect of the work, um, and then within that, I also like the different techniques that she uses to bring the work together. Those techniques are also made up of sort of you know bits of history from all over the world, or bits of techniques from all over the world. You can see India, you can see China, you can see so much in her work. So, always wanted to do an exhibition of Fiona's work. I'm really, really pleased that we have this opportunity. I loved her work from the day I saw it when Fiona first mentioned because I, I was been attending the open studios at the chocolate factories in, in November and I saw her work a couple of years ago and this year when we were, I was there last, last November. I was, we talked about her, we were just thinking about opening the space and she mentioned that she would like an exhibition and I was so happy because it's exactly the work we wanted to put here. It's a very large, it's an old industrial space, it's very large and suits her work so beautifully as you can see. It's perfect, I'm very, very pleased, so excited with the exhibition, very excited. Um, my inspiration comes really from materials a lot. People give me things, I get excited by a new material. Uh, I find things, some, or recognise things, sometimes it's a found object or a crease in a piece of cloth or a particular method like this circular thing started with a tiny little circular weaving kit that my, I got from my daughter and she didn't like it but I started making little round things and then somebody said oh I can see big ones so I made a hula hoop version and then I did those for several years and then I thought how do I make something more sculptural? So I then put them horizontally and that made whaley gig. But there was a lot of frustration with the fact that they weren't sculptural enough. So then I started making baskets and certain nests and circular forms. So that's all to do with using a particular material or a particular method. But apart from that, I'm interested in natural form, organic form, the energy of things that grow. I'm interested in body shape, female body shape in particular, female sexuality, um, also the unconscious, so using, not really knowing what you're doing, but just following what you see and feel, and then it becomes something, and then you go with that. So it might be abstract, semi-abstract, it might be more figurative. I think something spontaneous is important. I'm, I'm not interested in perfection. I, I want it to be expressive. Um, so I would never do something in a very conceptual way to make it look like that. I would follow what was there and allow it to come out in a kind of intuitive way. We've been advertising the exhibition already through the restaurant when any customers that come in, we got a catalogue of the exhibition and we've been talking about it and I'm absolutely sure we, we are run out of invites already for the private view on Thursday. So yes, we'll be very well attended, I have no doubt. I'm, I'm now looking forward to seeing what kind of a reaction we get to it. Because I, I don't think her work has been shown in this way for a long time, so it'll be interesting. It's coming at a good time because I am... Um, retiring from teaching and I'm leaving UEL. I've been at the chocolate factory since 1997, that's a long part of my life. I've never had a big show in a big space before, ever. So it's, a, it's my first proper one-person show, I, I think you could say. 
It's local. It's with people I know. I've been with a chocolate factory for a long time. They chose me. That was a compliment. Um, I don't know what it means to me yet. I think when it's over, I'll know what it means. Fiona is a very good friend and a colleague and I'm absolutely delighted for her and I think that uh, the works are very creative, beautiful, a burst of colour, they bring, they're evocative of you know, a lot of imagery right, right from seasons to architecture, for me personally, um, to a lot of texture, fabric, shapes, designs, geometry, so I think it's um, very, very imaginatively and beautifully put together. Um, this work, yeah, I think this work's very interesting because um, there's a lot of art about today that um, is generated on computer and is digital art, art, and it's all very flat and it's all very glossy. Um, and I think what's interesting about this work is, isn't it? It's got texture, it's got depth. You can see that it's been made by hand, and all the all the craftsmanship that's in it is very apparent. Um, so I think it's got a lot more going for it than a lot of regular contemporary art. Um, I think the other thing as well that I was particularly drawn to this evening is that um, the artist is referring to sort of aspects of um, human history, uh, things like religion, and she refers to shaman, but there's obviously a very obvious um, ethnic uh, influence at work. But as well as that, is some, you know, the, you know, she calls it the hidden charm, and I think that's true because I think a lot of what the artist is trying to get at is hidden. I think it's a very important exhibition. It's a shame that it's tucked away here in the north side of London. I've come across from sort of like West London to see it myself, um, but I think it's great work and it should have a bigger audience. I wish her a lot of luck. I like the fact that it's free and inventive and. It's not constrained at all by space, um, it, and it shows us a free spirit at work, really. Given the nature of Fiona's work, um, I just get a really strong sense of other presences, of other lives, other beliefs. So that's what I really like about it. It's just a sense of other otherness. Um, I think if I was going to describe it in one word, I'd call it ancient. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me. Cool. Evocative. In vibrant. Passionate. Profound? In the sense of deep, you know, depth. Depth of time. I'm really happy about the way it looks. And the private view has been meaningful to me because my closest friends and family have come here and celebrated this with me. 
and I brought together a lot of different parts of my life. My art life, my family life, my friend life, my teaching life have all come together in this one space. And actually that never happens, so I've enjoyed that. And I've enjoyed seeing people mixing and talking to each other from different parts of my life. I'm not going to make a fortune out of it, but that's not important to me. What is important is that the work is seen, that people enjoy it, that I enjoy the fact that they've seen it. And then I can move on and make more work so it, it brings something to some kind of closure to a particular point in my life. It's been a lovely event and I'll always remember it and I'll remember who I, I did it with. Um, and it, it's a good spirit. It, it feels good. And I'm very proud of you that you're making a film about it. Thank you.